Hi guys! Today is everything about uh, needles and um, no, I'm not talking about um, different needle sizes or stuff like that. No, I thought, because um, I often get the question, what needle did you use? I thought I'm going to give you an idea today about what needles I use, uh, I use for what. And uh, so you can choose, yeah, your needles in future by your own. And um, yeah, I'm holding my handy, so it's a little bit wobbly today. Hope that doesn't mind. Um, I'm going to start up here. I told you in, I think, my last video, uh, I'm using cartridges and I'm using the normal needles. And I've got these pack of needles with grip and tip and tube. Um, but that's not the point. I've got different needle sizes, of course, and different needle groups. Yeah. So let us start. Um, I've got the three round liner. Um, I've got it in every <laughs> needle sort. Um, I use three round liner, especially for very, very thin lines or for very fine shadings. Um, with shadings, I mean dot work because with round liners, I normally shade in dot work. And if it has to be a very, very fine shading or very thin lines, um, I use the three round liner, sometimes a five round liner. But for example, this little guy here is uh, made with a three round liner. For the normal lines, I've got a seven round liner. And um, for bigger lines, I've got a nine, 11 and a 15 round liner. And if it has to be really, really thick, then there's this one. Um, I've got, I hope you can see it. Yeah, like this. Um, 18 round liners, so they are really big. I think it's the biggest round liner you can get, I guess. I've, I don't know really, but it's the biggest I could get, so. And I don't need bigger round liners. The lines with an 18 round liner are really thick, like in um, old school tattoos. Yeah. Okay, so that's why I've got the round liners and which size I use for what. And then I've got shaders, only two sizes. Um, the fiber shader is, uh, round shader is for filling up really small parts. Um, for example, I've got a tattoo with small little tiny stars or flowers or something like that. I use um, a fiber round shader. And if I've got bigger parts, but still not big enough for uh, a magnum, then I use a nine around shader. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, I've got um, soft edge magnums and uh, I've got them, of course, in different sizes. Um, I've got five or seven, uh, and that's a seven or two, the different uh, brands. Um, I've got 11, 13, 19 and 23. So the soft edge uh, magnum I use for shading, especially for shading, because you really can get lovely soft shades uh, with them. And um, for portraits, um, like faces, stuff like that. Or maybe um, if there is a uh, some texture or something like that in the tattoo design, then I use soft edge magnum. And uh, the big ones I also use for filling because I think um, it's lovely and soft and nice to fill with them. And you can um, have these, um, when you go from one color to another, don't ask me what it's called, but um, with a soft edge magnum, you can really get these lovely and soft, yeah, <laughs> going from one color to another. <laughs> yeah, and I've got normal magnums. I've got fiver and seven. I don't need bigger ones because um, I only use them to fill, um, especially with color, not black, but uh, red, blue, green, stuff like that. 
and sometimes if I really need heart shades, um, really dark shades, um, then I use these ones, the Magnum. Yeah, what have I got else? I told you I've got the Aging Round Liner. Um, these are, I think, uh, yeah, these are my big Magnums. Um, as I said, I've got only these for heart shades. But sometimes if I've got a really big piece, I've got bigger Magnums, like these ones. But as you can see, they're soft edge as well. So depending on what I use, um, I've got these soft edge Magnum 23, I've got these soft edge Magnum 23, and I've got with uh, these needles, soft edge Magnum 23. Yeah, that's the main needles I use, but I've Got one special somewhere here. Just have to find it. There you are. So these, hopefully you can see it. It's not that easy to get the camera, to get my camera as it wants. Um, they are called flat magnums because they've got only one flat line of, uh, of needles. Yeah, there you can see. And I've got seven flat magnums and I've got um, four flat magnums. And I use these sometimes for lines, but mostly for um, fur or hair structures, things like that. Because they're really nice and comfortable um, to stick and poke hair and fur with them. Yeah, that's that. The needles I use and um, for what I use these needles the sizes and uh, the different needle groups if you have any questions just um, post them in the comments i would love to answer them and um, yeah have a look at my patreon site there will be some more videos about needles special uh, knowledge about the needles and hopefully some videos about how i differently use them so there's many stuff upcoming and um, yeah having really fun with this and hopefully I can do my first workshop next week on Friday so if um, you have any wish what you really 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 want to have in the workshop like um, could you please show us how to do lines with a ra uh, three round liner or stuff like that um, yeah I could um, take that, that as a topic for the shop and uh, well yeah <laughs> really looking forward and uh, would be happy if you um, say yes to my channel and then you can't miss any new videos upcoming in the next few weeks see you soon bye bye